Okay, now back to solving algebra equations. So, I want you to think and keep in mind in your head opposites. That plus and minus are opposites and that times and divide are opposites as well. So in this particular problem, I see m minus 7.1 is equal to 2.5. So I need to think, I want to get m by itself. Currently it's sharing part of its equation, part of its side of the equation with minus 7.1. So what's the opposite of minusing 7.1? It is in fact adding 7.1. So I'm going to say m is equal to 2.5 plus 7.1. So m is equal to 9.6. Moving the minus 7.1 to the other side of the equation by adding it to both sides. And that simplifies to m is equal to 9.6. Looking at part b, thinking about those ideas of opposites, if you read out the equation in English to yourself, you can pick up on the opposite here. So this equation says 7, div sorry, it says x divided by 7 is equal to 2. So the opposite of dividing is in fact timesing. So we can times 7 to the other side and we get x is equal to 14. So again, that was x divided by 7, to undo the divide by 7, we times by 7, so x is equal to 14. What we have here is going to be a two-step problem. I want to get y by itself. So one of the things I can think about is between the 9 and the minus 4 there with the y, what are the easier things to remove from that side of the equation to try to get the y by itself? And for me, I would think about moving the 9 first because it's not associated at all. There's no timesing or connectedness to the y here. It's just there by itself. So that's a positive 9. How would you move a positive 9 to the other side of the equation? We should be thinking opposite. So positive 9 would become a negative 9. So we have 10 minus 9. And we still have that minus 4y. That minus actually belongs to the 4y. So minus 4y is equal to 10 minus 9, which is 1. Now I need to think about how do I get rid of the minus 4y? And in fact, if we read it out completely, that's minus 4 times y. So the opposite of minus 4 times y would be dividing by 4. So y is going to be left behind, and we divide the minus 4, the whole thing, over to the other side of the equation. And you can leave it as a fraction. Remember that fractions are the same as divide. I can write 3 divided by 7 as 3 over 7. Fractions are just shorthand for that. So leaving the answer as y is equal to 1 over minus 4 is just fine. By convention, we often write the negative in front or with the number on top, but either way will be fine. And there's a little side note for you as well. 3 over 2 if one of those is negative, will become negative 3 over 2. The negatives don't cancel. But if I had negative 3 over negative 2, the negative divided by the negative will cancel, and I just get ne sorry, I just get 3 over 2. So keep that in mind. One negative in the fraction, it remains negative. Two negatives in the fraction, it becomes positive. All right, moving on to another equation. So building those skills together, in this case, instead of getting m all by itself, we notice that there's two m's, one on each side of the equation. So I want you to think about getting the m's together on one side of the equation. So move the variable, the x or the y or the m or whatever it is, to one side. And then get everything else. on the other side. So in this case, I'm going to try to move that 3m to the left side of the equation, and I'll try to move the minus 7, m, minus 7 to the right side of the equation. So to think about moving that 3m, is it a positive or a negative 3m? It's a positive 3m, and I'm going to move the whole thing together, so I'm going to undo the positive 3m by making it a minus 3m on the other side. So I'm going to have minus sorry, 5m minus 3m is equal to, 
And here I still have a 10 on the right-hand side of the equation, and I need to move that minus 7 over to the right. So the opposite of minus 7 would be plus 7. So now simplifying like terms, 5m minus 3m will give me 2m, and 10 plus 7 will give me 17. So we're almost there. We've got it down to just 1m, but it's 2m. It's not all by itself yet. So that really is 2 times m. So if you think about wanting to undo that, we can do it through divide. So 2 times m, the opposite would be dividing. So m is going to be equal to 17 divided by 2. And you can leave that as a fraction. If you check here, 17 and 2 can't really be simplified, so you would leave it just like that as a correct answer. So again, collecting the terms, moving the m's to one side and the numbers to the other, and then after you've simplified, trying to get the m by itself. So this equation pulls together quite a bit of what we've done already, so we need to think about first expanding it. So make sure you first expand it out if you see brackets. Okay. So making sure that we times those numbers out to all everything on the brackets. That becomes 3 times a is 3a. 3 times minus a is minus 24. It's going to be equal to 2a minus 8. And now we've got that situation where there's a's on both sides of the equation. So let's try to move the a's to one side and the numbers to the other side. So positive 2a will become a negative 2a, and minus 24 will become a plus 24. So in this case, 3a minus 2a, well, 3 minus 2 just becomes 1, so you would just have a single a. You could write a 1 there, but by convention we don't usually write the 1, it becomes invisible. And then we have minus 8 plus 24. So a minus 8 plus 24 is going to become a 16. And there's our final answer. A is equal to 16. So what we did first here again is expand out the brackets first, think about moving the a's to one side of the equation and the numbers to the other, and then simplifying.